Time for an update on that story we did on that dude who got blasted after pranking someone at the mall. Turns out there's more information that came out. Right, there was a YouTuber just last week that's known for pranks who was filming out at a mall who got shot. With a YouTuber, Tanner Cook reportedly saying, I was shot. playing a prank and a simple practical joke and this guy didn't take it very well. With a guy that shot him being charged with aggravation. All right, definitely an update video. Okay. I don't got problems with pranks, but my, 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 my whole thing is, bro, when it comes to niggas trying to keep it too real or trying to like, you feel me? I get it. You want to make sure the content is authentic as possible. Know who to play with, bro. You feel me? Like those are right, for a prime example. Let's give an example. Back in the day when pranks was first going on, it was a gray area. You feel me? Those are more live reaction. Now people know that this is a thing now. You feel me? Or y'all going into some of the worst neighborhoods and just violating and now niggas is just retaliating extremely crazy. You know what I mean? So YouTube pranks was when like 2010, 2011. I feel like now more or less, like for example, prime example, the, the pranks that niggas be pulling with the joints when they be like gold digger pranks, those are mad scripted, bro. And those, some of them may may not be, but eight times, nine times out of ten, those are scripted. Stick with those. You feel me? That's more entertaining. Niggas want to see the joints. It's actually a smart alternative route to the prank game. Playing in the hood and doing certain things in these stores, bro. I get it. But, bro, depending on what kind of what kind of mood niggas in and what people got going on and what y'all doing, like what the kind of pranks y'all trying to push, bro, y'all will get hurt, bro. Like, this nigga got shot. Thankfully, he didn't die. Made of malicious wounding, use of firearm, could be paralyzed, and anything, and discharging yeah, firearm within something. a building. And while Cook is absolutely lucky, he's still alive. With the All Washington right. Post reporting that on Friday, a top prosecutor reviewed the video of the YouTube prankster. And reportedly, at that time, they could not rule out charging Cook with a crime. And Cook's father reportedly responding to this news by saying, "If you're going to bring charges against my son, go bring charges against TV celebrities and prank shows." What I tell y'all, no. What I tell y'all, that father's a fucking loser. What I tell y'all. So they're thinking of pressing charges. Why do you think that is? Do you think this person played a simple prank where like, oh, I'm behind you? No. Clearly, this man was doing something where he was harassing the individual. And the prosecutor seen that and they're like, oh, this man instigated the situation and antagonized the individual. And the father's response is, why don't you go charge the other people? See? This is what I mean. Parents need to hold their kids accountable. When your kid's being a little shit disturber and going up in people's faces and bothering them, like, listen, too many people or going through terrible times. Too many people got mental health issues. Me being to America, the amount of instability I done fucking seen, if you think I'm going around messing with strangers, you are bugging. This kid wanted to fuck around and he found out. Wanted to take people's groceries, take people's hair, accuse them of diddling little kids. It's just a prank. Found out he landed on one person who's just not that well. People are really suffering. So when you go and you poke and prod, and you go up in their business, and they tell you to get away, and you don't, you might be the fucking last tick they need to snap. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's good, but that's the reality of the world we live in. I might tell you, don't walk around the hood with your chain hanging out. You go over there, you get robbed. I'm going to say it's not a good thing, but hey, you're fucking stupid. I'm watching somebody dance. Stupid. That's you. Fuck around, keep finding out. And everybody else, all the videos of people getting punked on social media. Let's make it so no wow. one can do that anymore. With the prosecutor also adding, in the footage, Cook approaches the shooter in the mall's food court area, gets close to him, and follows him for approximately 60 to 90 seconds. Oh. Yeah, my fault. I'm locked in. That was that my fault. I'm, I was listening to everything he said. This nigga's, yeah. That's definitely, yeah. <laughs> He's done, bro. He was right to shoot him. In tech. In, like, as crazy as that sound, bro. Antagonizing him, bro? Come on, bro. Following him around? Nigga could have thought you was trying to do anything to him, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, like, I get it. It's for the, the content and all that, but to a degree, y'all niggas gotta kind of see it from other people's perspective. They don't know about that you about to put this on YouTube. They may think you want some other type ish. You trying to harm them or do something else, bro. I see somebody following me for 60 seconds. I'm not thinking they trying to do something friendly to me. I don't think they trying to be my friend. I'm thinking they trying to do whatever else to harm me or what. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Nick, this response. He is followed this person. And you know what's crazy? Preach was actually respectfully preach. I, I get, I get their dynamic. You feel me? Play, both playing devil's advocate at times. Preach was actually trying to. You feel me? Be on some shit like, look, man, we don't know. Ah, uh, uh, he was trying to feel me, but nah. For so how long? Hell no. Preach don't even jack the, the... And this is why I said last time, get murked. And then what? I, I get, think mur a couple... right, get murked is crazy. Right, my, my, my son. Well, I, feel, I get what you're saying. actually need to lose their lives so that we stop seeing this kind of fucking dumb behavior. And then what happened? After he followed him, 
he finally approached him. You don't have to make the prank a prank. And then the person had to defend himself. Ah, uh, so he followed him to, to, to basically, like... Ah, uh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. As I seen in the videos, his MO, super insistent. Ah, well... <laughs> to me, it's just something that happened that was supposed to happen. Uh, release the other dude, by the way. Oh, you can release him. I don't think so. You can't be shooting here in public. In public. That's just not... You can't do that. Even if someone's father. You can't. Like... No, I mean... If they follow you, you don't know the purposes. I mean, and if they come off, some people don't want to find out what niggas is capable of doing. You feel me saying? Like, like I'm not willing. To, a lot of people like me, I'm not willing to take the risk of is this person gonna hurt me? Cause you, you obviously don't know them, bro, and they following you. You don't know what they trying to do. You feel me saying? So, to a degree, speaking, I know that's wrong. Five minute long here on Chewy. We have a big up arrow, as you can see. This no, is all real this time. You how I actually feel, release him. Release my boy. <laughs> what I'm saying. That's how I feel. That's, how, that's what I'm saying. But I know it's not the right thing, so yeah. I wouldn't make that. <laughs> this motherfucker kept insisting on fucking with him. He said, yo, leave me, nah, leave me alone. Nah, leave me alone. Nah, leave me alone. All right, nigga, if you're not going to leave me alone, then I'm going to make you leave Yank. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I respect you. Nigga. You can't even look at people that long. Some of you guys, I don't know who raised you motherfuckers. Well, Ball. obviously, dead beats like this fucking loser dad, okay? You're following someone for 90 seconds. It's like that Asian dude. That took him nothing but 20 to 30 seconds to want to fight him. Right. You followed him after he tried to walk away. Nah, you got, you, no. And there's a difference between good pranksters and bad pranksters. But unfortunately, the bad pranksters take up so much of my memory. Good pranksters do stuff that don't invade your privacy, and if you're uncomfortable, they just book it afterwards and leave. They don't just be following you and harassing you. Yeah, fact. It's short and it's sweet. The person that stops, keep it the fuck pushing. I'm saying, you get a reaction, you feel me, whether it's good or bad, and then you feel me, you make that, you make the conscious decision to, to be like, to, to be conscious enough to be like, or self-aware enough to be like, all right, this is not going to go too well. The reaction, we're going to see how far we could cut, and then you get better with kind of, Leading and then figuring out that little gray area because I don't know some I remember some of those pranks I used to really like it was one like belt pulling up like niggas niggas is in the hood they sagging and it was like these Indian guys that could, I could be totally wrong I don't know if they were Indian or I'm thinking they were and they would like go pulling niggas pants up and one time one nigga was coming out the stores he was pulling another niggas pants up look so prime example put, let me put it in perspective. A random guy is coming out of the store. Another guy is walking past the store. The prankster is walking towards him. You feel me? He goes to pull the dude's pants up. I don't know if dude, the two random dudes knew each other. As soon as he pulls some pants up, the nigga from... Some, I don't know if I could be cursing. The nigga from, from walking out of the store cranks it on him. Boom! You feel me? Then, the other... Like, he's stunned. So he's like... The, the prank nigga is stunned. He's like, oh. He's like, oh, it's a prank. It's a prank. The nigga books after him starts trying to like, you know, you you know when somebody running after, like when you run after somebody and they like a little bit faster than you, you're trying to like cut they like clip their legs so they can fall. He's trying to hit him with that maneuver and still trying to swing on him. So you get a couple of joint, a couple of licks off on my son, but he get away. Long story short though, you feel me? You know now, now he know like, all right, maybe, maybe the pulling up pranks may not be the best here. Maybe it may be better somewhere else or maybe not at all. I think you could go with not at all. But you feel me? Like some people just be on that. You know what I mean? But that was like 2020, 10, 2011. I don't even know if they still around. You know what I mean? But these people were just pestering and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and doing weird shit like taking people's food, taking their heads, yeah, taking nah, their clothing. Nah. Person, like you said, personal space pranks is, is, you're playing, you're in the dangerous, you're in the danger zone right there. Bro. Accusing them of crimes, running up on them with knives and getting killed. Die. The, the clown the prank, too, is crazy. With the back prosecutor noting, you don't know the recipient of this type of prank, where they are, or what their trauma might be. They may receive it as being a threat. But also adding, nothing that I am saying absolves a shooter for what he did. But as far Facts. as how all this is going to shake out, or even with the Gideon situation, we're going to have to, my son Gideon, okay. to wait and see. And of course, in the meantime, I'd love to know your thoughts. Yeah, okay. Shout out to this prosecutor, because he said the right things. And you yeah, have to see the other side of it. It's like, people who instigate situations and get mad at the reaction of people, it's like, bro... In fact, if I punch you, if, if I slap you and you punch me back, I can't be mad that, that you punched me, nigga. I slapped you. People have to realize that <laughs> what I did, I well, once I do something to you, I cannot then go, your response has to be this. No, nigga, your response is your response. So that could be 
you can push me, you can slap me, you can you can slap me back, you can punch me in my face, you can shoot me. You know what I'm saying? Because you may feel as though that is the necessary response in your mind. And I can be upset, but I can't really be upset because at the end of the day, my nigga, if I never slapped you or punched you or clipped you or did whatever to you, I wouldn't be getting a response. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's think let's think about certain things before you get start getting physical with doing doing things you think are funny. Not really funny, bro. I'm sorry, you get no sympathy from me. Zero. Yeah. Not really. be- Unfortunately, you know, he got he got shot, but man, maybe that that'll change his whole outlook on shit. You know what I mean? It's unfortunate that the dude was getting pranked, kind of like I ain't gonna say threw his life away, but he's in trouble because somebody else was being was pretty much I ain't gonna say preying on him, but pretty much like harassing him. And I don't know where his mental state was because obviously he has a gun on him, or obviously he felt as though it was necessary to shoot you at that point. He was somewhere else, and you were uh, pushing him over over that line. So hey, man, this is an update. Hopefully uh, everything work out. Low key. I ain't gonna lie, free that man. Cause free him. Like <laughs> word.